today i am going to show you how to install ed ubuntu on oracle virtual box my host machine is windows 10 so i am using oracle virtual box this is the open source so i previously shared how to install the oracle virtual box in windows so for refer you will check with that link for this one we need to download ED Ubuntu from so ED Ubuntu is the helpful for students it is that uh, education oriented Ubuntu so for this one we need to down go to this link ED Ubuntu dot org and uh, need to download the image file from here sorry uh, this one is release notes so we need to download from here and this is i already downloaded ed ubuntu so this is in this path so now i open that oracle virtual box go to new i give the name as well. Two. So we need to allocate memory. So here I allocated one GP. So create. So we need to select a hard disk space. So I am given twenty GP of hard disk space. Now go to create. So it will be created now. So we need to choose image file from storage go to storage and uh, from controller id select empty and uh, give and choose that image file so here it is ed window open click ok so now we are going to start click and start it will be initiating you need to choose language choose as English so try this is try ED Ubuntu without installation so we can try without installation also but I am going to install ED Ubuntu now install ED Ubuntu So it is starting. We need to change the network adapter. Which adapter? This is my driver of uh, Wi-Fi. So I'll be choose this one. So currently I'm connected with Wi-Fi. So I choose my Wi-Fi driver. If you are connected with LAN cable, means you need to choose controller. This and all, we are find it from network connection settings click ok now settings is saved so now english click and continue this is started windows sorry uh, started window 
so now install third party software so click on continue it will be asking for 8.6 GB disk space we already given 20 GB so click on continue So this is the next page we need to choose GUI environment from here. So here I will choose Linux terminal server project. We have one more option Genome. So after that click on continue. So this is all about package. So this is for especially uh, education oriented. So here I will choose all packages. Click on continue. This uh, this is the disk partition. So here I will already allocated a 20 GB. It will be having partition here itself. So I give first option if you need to partition go to something else and create a partition here i am going to give install now continue so we need to choose our country time zone so i choose to kolkata keyboard we use English US so click on continue so this is the non privilege administrator account so once you create it remember that password we add this only we able to access root commands like sudo so here I will be choose my name Click on continue. So now it will be started a copied files. So this is console. It will be showing what are the options and the packages inside of e Ubuntu we have. So we will be able to read, read with this. So this have like memory test and all. This is for a leak it's for enter. So it shows you something else like it's like that. basic skill developments organize your thought I think this have good for students so if you have windows system just go to download oracle virtual box that also open source so we able to install that is free only inside of ED Ubuntu is uh, help to child education. So this is 
share our monitor to other systems hmm. oh nice options libricad i think uh, this is so enter to cad ebook library this is about libraries firefox scap this is the drawing program and the photo editor also itself it have it will be including facebook twitter windows live and the google talk you able to download from the windows software center and also you can download it free so we need to wait once it is copied we able to access id ubuntu so copying files is completed now it's a uh, configured system like user creation and all so it is Currently configured the hardware configuration. It is almost going to complete. So installation is completed now. We need to restart that Ubuntu system. So once it is completed, it will be asking to restart. So now we are going to. we start the operating system So while restarting, it will be circle like this. Means you can power off from directory, close the window, click OK. There is nothing happened inside of that machine. So now we are going to start. Click on start. So it will be started now. that password
we are successfully installing the Ubuntu on Windows machine through Oracle Virtual Box. Now we are able to use this one. Now AD Ubuntu is successfully installed. For more technical videos, please subscribe Tech Harvest channel. Thanks for watching.